To start off this bracelet, I'm using this clip. I don't actually know what it's called, but if anybody knows and wants to tell me, that's fine. I'll add a note onto the video. I've got two of each of the strands of thread put on already. It's a bit fiddly, so I'll do that off the camera. As you can see, I've put two black on either side and then two red in the centre because I'm going to do a thick striped chevron for this bracelet. So, I'm going to attach that to the board and get started. Right, now you can see I've laid all the threads out. So I'm going to start by knotting each of these strands to each other just to attach it to that bit before I actually start on making the pattern. So for this one, I'm just going to do forward knots for these first ones. Checking I've got these the right way. That's it. And then for these three at this side I'm gonna do backward knots. Right, now I'm going to start off by doing this in a triangle formation. I don't really know how to define this, so I'll just show you. So the first two, you do forward knots, like that. And then for your next ones, you take one either side and do a forward knot on this one. And then a forward knot on this one. And then knot the two central ones together. And then you pick up your next thread here. And then again forward knots at this side. Forward knot again, and then pick this one up here, and then it's two backward knots. And then the centre one. I don't think it really matters which way around you do this one, but I tend to just always do them forward, just in case it will show up and I'm not aware of it. So you can see there, pattern starting to form, I think. I've got a little tiny chevron starting to show up in the centre. So from then on, you just keep every time picking the next thread up in your pattern and go in forward knots on the left, backward knots on the right. So let's carry on. And then 
picking up on the right to make sure you get the right thread. And then the sides all backward knots until the centre. center just do your forward knots and then the next one and again all forward knots until the center Pick your next one up from the right side and remember for this one you're doing backward knots. So at the board it does like to move on its own. And then into the centre again and forward knots. And then you're picking up your last thread and again left hand side all forward knots. And now your final one on the right hand side, which is all backward knots. into the centre again with your forward knots and from then on you just follow the pattern exactly as you did before but this time obviously you're not leaving any and picking them back up this time you're just going to knot each of these strands forward knots to the centre 
and each of these backward knots into the centre and then your centre is your forward or backward whichever you've chosen I tend to try and keep it consistent just in case it shows up but I don't suppose it really matters so I'll do one more just to show how the pattern's going to develop and then I'm going to fast forward to the next part but as you'll have noticed as you've gone along it's brought the colour to the outside which is what makes it create the stripes into the chevron pattern. side on to the backward knots. Sometimes it's hard to see when they're all the same colour, but try and make sure you pick up the next thread. Doing the central one in the forward knot again. Right, so you can see now that bit's there and it's coming to the centre creating the chevron. So I'm going to stop it there and then get to the next part because it's all just the same thing all the way down. Right, I've got to the end of the bracelet and now you can see that I've got the red back into the centre, which is where I started up there, and then the two black either side so because the clip that I'm using to fasten off at the end is got a flat edge sort of with the loops on I'm going to flatten this up a little bit because obviously it's going into a point so to do that I'm going to ignore the red ones but I'm just going to carry on doing the black ones it doesn't make it perfectly straight but just neaten it up a little bit I can find the right one to go on So now I'm just going to do forward knots with the black over the black, but just the black. So that's the first one done, so now I'll go back to the beginning and go over it again.
but this leaves it with sort of two sort of small points at the end rather than one large point but it just make it a little bit neater for the end so now I've done that side I'm just going to do this side but this time with backward knots as before next one and then the last thread So now everything's done and that's slightly evened out a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thread these strands onto here and I'm going to take two from each of the sets because there's four strands on each of these. So I'm going to take two from each and thread onto there and I'm going to do this while it's paused because you don't want to watch me fiddle with that because it can take a while. And then I'll come back and then show you how to put the findings on. Right, last of all, this is the bracelet with the clasp on that end, the clasp on that end. So you've got tail ends here. So you could deal with these in a number of ways. You could either glue them to make sure they stay tight and then snip the ends. Or if you've got the patience, you could try and weave them back through there with a needle if you've got one small enough to go through. I thought a little decorative plait might be nice just going down as an extra little feature at the back. So that's what I'm going to add to mine afterwards. So now you just need to put your clasps on there. So what you need is to get your jump rings. And thread one onto here. Put your lobster clasp on. Make sure that's nice and snug together so that it doesn't come apart. So that's one end done. Then you just need to put your ring on this end. and tight and then you can just clip that together like that so I'm going to add a plait to that and then show you the finished product and this is how the bracelet looks when it's finished as you can see I put a little plait with a bead on it which I'll probably to be honest end up removing because I find that they irritate me even though I like the way they look but as for the rest of it, that's what it looks like. So if anybody wants to have a go at that or do something slightly different or whatever, I'm always interested to see what other people come up with. So feel free to tag me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Okay, thanks for watching.